Bravest return from these lands, your soft feet were barely tolerated in or a barely tolerated insult. Yes, just just lower me down. The descent is long, be still, or we will attract unwelcome visitors. Unwelcome visitors. Okay. Forty minutes in, we're just now descending into the Shadowlands. Well that's right. actually that's good timing. So we gradually descend into the Shadowlands. <coughs> There's some big trees. <coughs> Alright, uh... We good? Yeah, we're good. I don't think we can change our party here. No, we can't. That's alright, we don't need to. I have all that I need. Katarns. Kyle Katarn. <laughs> Alrighty, let's kill these things. Kill you, kill you, kill you. <coughs> gotcha. Heal. That's what I say. Heal. There's, some, there's a few corpses here that have some nice stuff. Some craft weaponry. And if you don't want it, you can sell it. Ooh! I see a lightsaber. <clears throat> it's an old man wielding a lightsaber. He must be really good. The old guys in Star Wars are always the deadliest. Hey, I was right. <laughs> oh, the damnable racket of battle. Watch yourself. Even more of these crawling beasts are hiding in the underbrush. Who the hell are you? I'm Jolie. Jolie Bindo. Follow me to my camp and we'll talk a bit. Are you a Jedi? Ah, don't start fawning just yet. I'm too old for it. Uh, I, I know a few things, but we can talk about it at my camp. Keep close. It's nearby, under a log. Yeah, I live like some burrowing rodent. I fought the Sith. Now look at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, interesting character. <coughs> this is Jolie Bindo. Very intriguing character. As you are about to discover. <clears throat> Lives kind of like Yoda, except he actually has a house. He even built a chimney. I suppose he had to if he wanted to light a fire and stay warm. <laughs> Don't know what the temperature is here on Kashuk, and honestly, I don't care. So, let's stop speculating and let's just talk to Jolie. Well, welcome to my home, such as it is. Pull up a stump <clears throat> and be comfortable. We should discuss a few things. Karth, I'd like you to get out of the camera shot. Oh, perfect. Jolie's blocking him. Excellent. Uh. Yes, yes. Talk to me. Don't coddle me, child. I'm neither a Jedi nor your master. I'm just an old man that's. Been lost in the woods for far too long. My days of glory are behind me, but perhaps there is something I can do for you. You must have questions. Uh, yes. Star map. <coughs> now why would you be asking about that, hmm? Don't answer. I knew that had to be why you were here. The problems of a few Wookiees don't amount to anything before the concerns of the Jedi. No, you are here for the map. Yes, please tell me. Kashik is an interesting place, more so than anyone suspects. If Zerka Corporation knew, the planet would be a strip mine. The Wookiees have their legends that they were not always here, but it is more than that. The trees themselves are strangers. You are strange. What I'm saying is that there are literally walls in your way, and you won't find what you need without my help. And my help is a <coughs> price. You must do a task for me, and then allow me to join with you. I will then remove certain barriers in your path. No, of course. Uh, sure, I'll help. Oh, save it. Since they began expanding in the Shadowlands, the Circa have left me alone for the most part. Until recently, anyway. A group of them set up camp not far from here. Poachers is all they are. I'd like them removed from this place. Already? Uh, sure. They are not that far northeast of here. The captain of the lot is the one that earned my ire. 
mishandle my garden, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go get some crazy kids off the old hermit's lawn. Good. Return to me here, and we'll see how you have done. Shoot! Shoot! <coughs> You kids get off my lawn. Stay away from my daffodils. Whatever the hell it is you grow in the front yard. Um <coughs> oh, I'm not gonna pick up that little bit of rubble there. Uh Katarns. Yeah. Invoke night speed, it'll go faster this way. It's just easier to do it this way. Goodbye. Shoot him. Uh, this Wookiee corpse right here is associated with a side quest, which I'm not going to do because it's. it's Bastila, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan oh God. and when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then, I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? Would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. Again, you're seriously having this conversation here? Wait, didn't they have this conversation already? I think they did. <coughs> there was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on a post? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer. And the Republic chose to walk the easy path, rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would have been speaking Mandalorian. I, I think we're done here. Thank just... God. I swear to God, they had that conversation already. <coughs> Took like two minutes out of my time, too. Which can actually kill you in recording. If you're not careful. <coughs> so this is the camp. Talk to the captain. Who are you? Another civil merchant like that coral slime up on the docking ring? This is my territory. I don't make deals, and I don't persuade easily, so go back topside. Mess with my profits, and I'll see you dead. Oh, I love you too. I go where I want. Look, I don't care if you want to play tourist. I've got a job. Shut to up. <coughs> I'm leaving. Good. I'm not down. You can persuade the captain to leave if you have a really high skill, but, um. I do not. <coughs> and I wish I could talk properly instead of choking through half the session. So, I guess I'm gonna. freaking do this. I'm gonna. loot those containers. Basically, these guards are all protecting the emitters. Each of them protects an emitter. You talk to, you get two of them to abandon the emitters, and then something special happens. <coughs> you want anything? You'll have to talk to the commander. I'd rather talk to you. Why am I here? I'm here because this is where the commander told me to stand, and that's all there Good is answer. to it. I'm just a guard for this emitter. Why couldn't they have just equipped this lump of tech with a blaster and left me at home? Hmm. Valid question. I'm not here because I know stuff. Uh-huh. What do these emitters do? They generate a sonic barrier that allows us to stay in this wonderful location. It keeps the big predators away. I don't know how it works, really. I just know that if they go down, the camp would be overrun. Uh-huh. So, those emitters are the only thing keeping you here. What up? <coughs> Maybe, uh, 200 credits and you go away? That sounds like a fair deal to me. Enough of those emitters go down, and the camp will have to move out. Excellent. Oh crap. I bought that other thing, so I should... I hope I have enough credits. That's one emitter down. Do I have 200 credits? Yes, I do. <coughs> Alright. You just do the exact same procedure with this guy. You Shut want up. any... Why am I here? I'm just a guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk about the emitter. What do you want to know? Uh, 200 credits. 
That sounds like a f enough of those. Yeah, yeah. You had the exact same appearance, structure, and voice of the other guy. Twins, maybe. <coughs> or in this case, quadruplets. What? Uh Run! Run! <laughs> uh, you can just kill them, but I personally think that that's a better option. This <laughs> is and it's more amusing. So now we get to sprint back to Jolly Bindo. Oh ho! This is going to kill the frame rate. Speed. This kills the frame rate, but you know what? I don't care. Make up the dis the time we lost when Bastille and Karth decided to go on their big tangent, talking about nothing. All right, Jolie, I got rid of him. Welcome back. I wonder, have you had much luck? Have you done as I asked? Yes, I got rid of him. Yes, I could feel it as you walked near, and I don't sense the smell of death on you. You spared them. Interesting. You told me not to kill them. Wasn't there? I suppose not, but the environment would say otherwise if it could talk. No matter. All right, will you help me find the star map now? Yes, of course. Let's get moving. I noticed the old path some time ago. You probably wouldn't have found them on your own. <coughs> There's also a Zerka repulsor field blocking the way, past the poacher camp in the east. I saw it when it was installed, so I know how to pass it. And on the other side, ancient answers. And perhaps a Wookiee you are seeking. I hope he's in the mood for visitors. Ah. All right, so goodbye, Karth. Hello, Bastila. Well, hello, Jolie. So this is our final party member. We now have a full party. This is Jolie Bindo, a sort of neutral Jedi. He's a little bit closer to the light side, but for all intents and purposes, he's neutral. He sees the he sees both sides of the coin. And, uh, basically he'll give you both sides. He's not prejudiced or anything. He sees the benefits of the light and dark side. But ultimately, he is a good guy, so... I don't think he's evil or anything like that, but still. <coughs> uh, wisdom. He's neutral, so he doesn't need a lot of charisma right now. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, God. Um, you have, you have disabled droid. You don't need resistance right now. Armor won't do you much good. An offensive power, maybe. You have plenty of offensive powers. Screw it, we'll give you... Eh, we'll, yeah, we'll give you armor. Why not? Oh, and you get another power. Excellent. Wait, what am I doing? Treat injury. Love of God, treat injury. Uh, You need toughness, I think. Should I give him toughness? Yeah. He needs toughness to make up for his loss in health. His lack of health. Consulars don't have a lot of health, but you do need night speed. Ooh, and you get another power. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Force Whirlwind. Jolie is an a excellent, uh, I did it again. Jolie is an outstanding, uh, uh, attack. Force caster, basically. Stasis, maybe. <coughs> yeah, stasis. Stasis is good for him. No level, good god. I don't usually have member leveling him. He usually gets like three levels. Uh, what now? I developed everything I want to develop for him. Uh, Valor. Okay, now he's good. Oh, I probably should have given him that other thing. Oh, well. Uh, Adrenaline Amplifier. Yeah, that'll do him good for now. Now I'm going to put on my wheel band again. Bestella. You should both be good. All right, we're good. Let's uh, let's get moving. Oh, this isn't the way I wanted to go. Oh well, just a couple of Katarn. We'll kill them. Three Jedi. And the last one. <coughs> Ow. And the best part is, we all have the heal. So we have like an instant sure. heal capability now. And Bastila is in uh, Jolie's force energy to replenish a lot faster than mine. And we will be needing that heavy healing for uh, some of the fights coming later. 
Actually, in my opinion, the toughest fight on this planet is actually an optional fight. Because it's actually a series of fights. Just a concussion grenade there. Once again, night speed just to cover the distance a little faster, just like on tattooing. Wow, I've been recording for almost an hour now. Wow. See, the planets don't strike you as that long because you have because you know everything that needs to be done, but you should actually get to doing it. It takes a lot longer. Mind, I'm also not. <coughs> okay, now I just feel stupid. Also, I'm not skipping any dialogue, so come on, let me go. Okay, so anyway, after that, after stupidly running into that concussive mine, which did absolutely no damage, it just stunned me for a few seconds. So it essentially just wasted time. <coughs> go around the mines, people. Say they actually went around the mines. Okay. Shimmer the repulsive field. Oh, screw it. There, you see? Beautifully subtle, isn't it? At least compared to the other Zerka equipment dumped down here. It's only been here a short while, or the Wookiees would have disabled it. They wouldn't have had an easy time of it, though. Can you shut it down? But there are others, each blocking similar points on certain paths. It is all very calculated, very precise. It would have been effective if it hadn't relied on the creatures to be walking. Climbers don't have much trouble getting around it. Alrighty, shut it down. I can manipulate it for a moment. Ah, there we go. Now, keep moving. A few surprises wait for us, I'll wait. Excellent, excellent, Jolie. Now we're into the deep, deep regions of Kashyyyk. This is where all the big enemies are. <coughs> we haven't had that many enemies on Kashyyyk. We've had a couple of, uh... Kinrath, some Katarns, and three Dark Jedi. None of which posed any serious threat, but now we get... There are some pretty nasty enemies down here, though. Nothing we haven't fought before, but... Well, actually, yeah, there is something we haven't fought before. Ooh! Another battle. Let's see what's going on. Mandalorians. Fighting Wookiees. They're just dead. Lagging. Ooh. Hey, he just killed our friend. Hey, that's kind of interesting. We should probably do something about that. <coughs> Let's fight these Mandalorians. Now the next one. Come on, just go down. Mandalorians are quite tough. Okay, there we go. Great, Baka. Let this outsider be different from the others. Okay, uh, what happened here? Please, I need healing. I'm dying. Okay, let's stand here for a few seconds and wait and see if he dies. Nope, he's still alive. Clearly not in need of any immediate medical attention, but fine, I'll heal you. Thank you. I don't know, expecting an outsider to aid me. My hunting party, all of them killed without honor. I barely survived. Okay, this is a side quest. I'm gonna skip the Wookiee's dialogue just because. Basically, there's Mandalorians on this planet, and they only attack enemies that are unarmed because they're cowards. They ambushed his whole party and killed them. Yes, 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 yes. I'll look into it. I am going to do this side quest because it's very rewarding. Very uh, rewarding things, such as Mandal such as Mandalorian weapons and armor. So basically, as you walk along, you'll notice bodies, piles of dead Wookies, like right here. Here's what you do: you have to make sure your entire party is unarmed, like so. And then you, as you move through, you'll be ambushed, like so. Because the Mandalorians are cowards, who will not attack anyone unless they are unarmed. But you can simply pause and equip your weapons. <laughs> hey, guess what? We do have weapons. Surprise. Joke's on you. Uh-huh. And now we're going to kill you. Everyone, use night speed. You're gonna attack him. 
I'm gonna go for him. And you're gonna hit the one behind us, Bastila. Then you're going to attack.